girl, what are you waiting on? Follow me on Instagram, like, comment, subscribe, and click that bell notification. Well, hello. This is going to be a vlog. I haven't done a vlog in a long time. I've just been doing sit down chats with you girls. And um, I'm doing a vlog because I took a few days off of social media because I needed a mental health break. I'll probably tell y'all more about that later on. Um, so I don't have anything to sit down and talk with y'all about. But I got a few things planned for this Labor Day weekend. It's currently around noon on Saturday of Labor Day. My job gives us a four-day weekend. So I got yesterday off plus I get Monday off. So this is just lovely for me because Bay and I just got back from um, Montego Bay, Jamaica on the well, it's technically like Friday before last. So yeah, I'll take y'all through the day. Um, I just finished running outside. I ran 6.33 miles at a eight minute and 41 second pace. Yesterday, this like feeling came over me where I wanted to do a 10 mile race. I haven't been able to run a race since COVID. I usually do 5Ks and half marathons. And I was like, you know what? I want to run a 10 mile race, but I had to see if my body was going to let me run that 10 mile race. Okay. So I just ran my little six mile run and it felt amazing because the weather is perfect. Like this is perfect running weather. But anywho, I'm about to make um, a breakfast sandwich with a bunch of protein because your girl is hungry. And anytime I run, I run a super long distance, I get really, really hungry. So yeah, I'm about to do that now. I got some leftover chicken breast from meal prep this week. So I'm actually going to do one whole egg with egg whites and then a chicken breast sandwich. So basically a chicken sandwich with egg on it. And then I got some watermelon that I usually um, pack for lunch in a mason jar. So I got some watermelon in a mason jar. I really want some of these pears that I just bought yesterday, but watermelon is really good after a workout. So I'm gonna go ahead and have that. I've been making a really good watermelon smoothie. I do watermelon, banana, and then pineapple with chia and flax seeds, and then I just add a little bit of water as needed. That smoothie, crack. You need to try it before it's no longer watermelon season. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this now. I almost forgot I need to make enough for my husband because he's at the gym right now. So this will be ready when he gets back. This cute little butter dish off of Amazon, and it comes with this little spoon to go well, not spoon, knife to go with it. So, while my eggs finish, they got done, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that heat off. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little butter in this bread because I don't like no dry bread on my sandwich. I'm gonna need butter on one side, just a little bit on that bread, a little bit on his. We'll uh, double dip the knife into the uh, butter because then that's when they get the crumbs on it. And I don't like the, I don't like it at all. Pull out this chicken breast. Go ahead and load this sandwich up. Ooh. I put a little pepper jack cheese on her. Not a full slice. Oh, that's good and cheesy. Girl, don't tell my husband, but we only got um one chicken breast left, and I'm finna eat it. It's first come, first serve. He be eating up everything else in the house, so I'ma finish this last piece of chicken breast. He ate up half the jar of um, granola that I made yesterday, made a whole bowl of cereal with it. 
So yeah, I'm gonna help myself to this chicken breast. And he be joking on me when I eat chicken breast because that's usually his thing because chicken breast be dry and ashy, but he eat it like every week for meal prep. So yeah, his just gonna be an egg sandwich. I don't even got no avocado that's ready. Girl, that's wild and messy, but it's gonna get the job done. Oh, I make homemade Chick-fil-A sauce. So I gotta put that in here. I'm gonna use the same little spoon thing. Girl, this homemade Chick-fil-A sauce ain't nothing to play with. Yes, it's a lot because I like sauce and I made it so I know what's in it. So I ain't got to worry about the glucose and the, all of that other high fructose corn syrup and all that stuff. Okay. That's it right there. We got Chick-fil-A at home, boo. Sauce and all. I got these shorts for Jamaica, but I never wore them. They're from Target. They were like, yep, $15. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear them today. They give like a little linen wrinkly feel. And then I'm going to do this black bodysuit with it. I think that is super cute. And then for shoes, I might wear these with the little tortoise um, shell print or these. Obviously, they've been worn. Who cares? We'll see. I think that I'm going to go with the flats, but I'm not sure. Ooh, okay, I just finished my makeup. Now I need to put some jewelry on. Let's see what it's given. Looks okay. I am not one of the makeup girls, like, girl, that's not my ministry. Try this again. I am not one of the makeup girls. That is not my ministry. So that's why I did my makeup off camera. I'm going to put my hair up because I want the details of this bodysuit to show. I um, band my twist when I go to bed. So I'm taking out these. Oh, uh -uh. there we go. It will look cute with it down, actually. Let me see, that's cute. I think I'm gonna still pull it up though. Pulling it up makes it a little bit more casual. Wearing it down makes it a little more sleek and sexy. Like, look, bam, bam. <laughs> but I'ma just pull it forward. What well, use my knee high? Cause that's what I do. Tighten it. Make sure it all comes forward. You see, it's already given. Like very cute and i just tie the knee high one more time and then boom i just put on some hoop earrings oops these hoops my mom gave to me a long time ago and then what kind of necklace do i want to wear this always makes it look like I have locks. I think I'm gonna just wear my little chain necklace that they got me. It has our wedding date on it. Mm, can't see it from that side. 2, 16, 18. Very simple. Cause we just want the bodysuit to show. This is the struggle part. You gotta go a little cross eyed to do it. Oh, huh. it's about to curse, but I got it. 
Oh yeah, that's perfect. So that's that. And then the perfume that I want to wear. Oh, that might be the vibe. I'm weird because I like wearing perfumes that match the color of my outfit. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh, I think I'm gonna go with this. This is the Kim K Kendall Roan, I believe. It's the Kendall one. It's the blue one. It's usually sold out. So if you can find it, good luck. Um, I tried to get it from Ulta, but they were sold out. So I got it online. And then I got two other Kim K ones. And it's actually a E A U L U whatever they parfum. And I always spray my hair too. All right. That's that. We are settled. Oh, I meant to put more oil on my skin because perfume lasts longer when you put oil on your skin. I'm going to probably do that anyway because I got my legs out. So let me go do that. This is our guest bedroom slash my glam room. So it's messy in here because I'm doing some... Uh, closet clean out slash organization so that's why you'll see stuff on this bed in the background but i did decide to go with these because <laughs> the little heels didn't look the best with it and this just makes sense right i mean look hence the brown lip gloss lipstick it's a liquid lipstick by nyx and then let me put my bracelets on. They told me to be ready by 4.30. Girl, guess what time it is? About 4.30. Oh, this would be cute. A little chain. Girl. Is that enough? Nah. That is because when I run, sometimes my um sports bras be messing up my collarbone. It'll give me abrasions when I. It's usually it. Ain't, it usually only happens when I go for a long distance run. So that's what's going on there. It hasn't happened in a while because it usually only happens with my regular Nike bras. It usually doesn't happen with my um. I have specific sports bras for running. Usually doesn't happen with those. It usually only happens with my Nike joints. Girl, what the heck? I'm going to wear all four. I think I put all of those on. Okay. Yes, yes. And then I put my wedding ring on. And girl, quiet as it's kept, this bodysuit is not snapped at the bottom. Because it's not long enough on the bottom. And now... We're set. All right. All right. This is the look. Bodysuit. Where did this bodysuit come from, girl? I don't know. It's obviously old. Wait. Hold on. I'm about to figure out how to show you the back. I'm about to get my husband to do it. Shorts from Target. Shoes are from. Where are these from? DSW. And I believe they're Steve Madden. Yeah. Shiny legs brought to you by Coconut Oil NYX Liquid Lipstick. I'll try to remember to um, show y'all which one I wore. And this twist out is, or two strand twist are over two weeks old. <laughs> and that's what we got. And now let's go axe throwing and dinner with Bay. This is the back. I told y'all I'd get Bay to do it. I'm hoping that the little snap ain't poking through like a tail because Mariah told y'all I didn't um, do the snap because she was a little short and I'm a little tall, five, seven and a half. So this is the look. Okay, girl, we are here. Me and Bay. And we're here. I gotta see how long this wait is because they only do reservations for groups of four or more. Let go. What does that say? Next walk in is at 6 p.m. So we got an hour. Hi, I mainly wanted their um, vinaigrette 
But when I looked online, I don't think it was on sale. I like to cop while it's on sale. Okay. I don't want that. Girl. Trader Joe's made a knockoff and the label for the Trader Joe's one is black too. Uh-huh. This make me want to get this plus the Trader Joe's one to compare. Oh, braising and cooking sauces, 30% off. Hold up, did you see one that you liked? Is that the 30% off? You got it. Which one? Oh, just that one? That one? Yeah. Let me show y'all which one he liked. This one, which is the one that I like to online. Thank you. Thank you. We can put that right in the car. Now, let's go to West Elm, one of my favorite furniture stores. Okay. <laughs> I wonder how much time we get on the actual one place. Okay, so my husband did sit right on this sofa as soon as we walked in. There he is, but I went to the bathroom. You was looking for me. You was looking for me. We got a soft bed over here. <laughs> I went to the restroom real quick. Ooh, that's a nice table. Ooh, I love this texture. Wow, it's good and heavy too. Ooh. And it's not even an eight person, it's just a six person table. Our next table has to be eight person. Right there, they show outdoor movies in the summertime. Each group is going to be getting their own lane, so that is two targets, so two of you can come up and throw together. So if you both come up and throw together, if you throw an hand of the eye level, open up and let me go. Two-handed, dominant hand on bottom, non-dominant hand on top. Not too shabby for your first one.
but I still can't get it to stick. We close. Oh, I thought it was a bullseye from over there. All right, never mind. <laughs> Never mind. He been wanting to do this forever, so I should have known he was gonna be good at it. Okay. Okay. Finally. Ooh. 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 Okay. I probably gotta cut the video. Oh, yeah, because that tip is in the bullseye. Yeah, you did that. Okay. Hold on. What your girl done did? Oh, what your girl done did? Your girl got a bullseye. Oh, they got a chair, too. I don't know about that American flag, though. All right, we got pork belly. Um, I think this is duck, fish, uh, chorizo, and falafel. They're all like mini tacos, like two, three bites, and that's it. This falafel, don't need no lines on that. Oh my gosh. I looked away for two seconds. Oh my gosh. You got five, right? Good <laughs> thing you did. That habanero sauce was so good, I had to buy it. Oop, I almost forgot to get y'all the uh lipstick details nyx nyx however you say it cream lipstick always get mine from ulta and this is the one downtown beauty boom there it is today is sunday labor day weekend and it is 1 45 i woke up went to the gym early because my body got me up early y'all see that mess this is real life um went to the gym came home and showered because we had our meal prep that was getting dropped off between 11 to 1 and then we had a guy coming to hang our curtain rod from 12 30 to 1 30 and he just left not too long ago and while he came our meals came so we got four different types of meals no three different types of meals i did let me grab the paper what did i do with the paper Oh, I done lost the paper. I must have threw it away. Oh, it's right here. Okay. So I did six red curry chicken meals. And y'all know I make my own um, curry. So we're going to hope that it's good. This is my second time ordering from this guy. The first time was iffy, but I didn't feel like meal prepping this week. We were supposed to skip meal prep last weekend because... Um, we were traveling and we had just gotten back, but he wasn't delivering last weekend. So anywho, we got six red curry chicken meals, three five spice meatball meals, and then three butternut squash meals. It's mainly me who's going to be eating the butternut squash meals because my husband be acting funny with certain meals. So this is the butternut squash. The company does a standard size and a deluxe size. I just did the standard size because I don't like need a whole bunch of food. And because it's 12 meals, like, and it's only a four day weekend, we should be good. Got the red curry chicken. And then this one is a five spice meatball. It's literally just one meatball, but it's like the size of a baseball. But I noticed that this one doesn't have any vegetables and I don't do meals without vegetables. Um, so I am cooking some broccoli right now to add into the meatball um, meals for that. I'm probably just going to lay it out for a little bit and chill. I need to figure out what's for dinner. It's probably going to be some leftovers because we need to like clean out some of the food that's in this fridge. So I almost forgot to tell you exactly what I got from Williams Sonoma. So I did get the savory pancake and waffle mix. 
it was $8.99. I did not end up getting that garlic and ginger seasoning because I've been ODing on buying seasonings lately. I had to get this because I love me some Thai food. And then I got this. I was hoping that it was going to be 30% off, but I ended up paying regular price. It is a fig port braising sauce. The ingredients list sounded really delicious, so I think that this is going to be perfect. And it was $17.00. And then I also ended up buying a bottle of the habanero sauce from Bar Taco because I used to think that their sauces weren't good, but it was really good. So I went ahead and copped the bottle. Good morning. It is Monday, Labor Day. And today I just have some adulting things to do. I don't have to meal prep since we got our meals delivered. Well, I don't have to meal prep lunch, but I do need to meal prep our breakfast. So we have some sweet potatoes. I'm going to, I'm going to boil some eggs. And then maybe I'll make some more granola. I'm not sure. I want it to be quick and easy because I also want to clean up a little bit today. I already started vacuuming. So yeah, I'm not going to take y'all on that. So this will be the end of the vlog and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.